Just as ECU has a great football team, this kind of heart surgery, robotic heart surgery, is all about teamwork. It's a little bit like football. We wear a uniform, a scrub suit. We have a quarterback, the surgeon. But we also have other members who are extremely important that do our, quote, blocking and tackling. Indeed, Alexis was an unusual young woman because this disease of mitral valve prolapse does not usually occur in patients this young. The average patient is 55 years old, but they may have had a murmur since they were a child. So they may have had some leakage, but with the advent of echocardiography being a very standard tool now, we're seeing more patients who the leaks are being picked up very early. But lots of times we're following these patients for a number of years until they either have symptoms or they have cardiac changes. But in Alexis's case, she was becoming symptomatic. A very young woman doing all kinds of exercise and cheerleading and vibrant and full of life, and she just was slowing down. So at that time, it was time to repair the valve. The most positive thing about this whole experience was um, me being young and being able to bounce back quicker. Since I'm only 18 years old, it was easier for my body to recover faster than, let's say, an 80-year-old person who isn't in as great a shape as I am. And since I'm a cheerleader here at ECU, um, I've had something to look forward to um, coming back from recovery. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six,